Hi guys! First of all, welcome to the Anime Onesan. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and let me know in the comments below what video would you like me to do the next time. Well, I decided that today I'll talk you about Nero or Black Clover. As we know, Nero is the bird that chases Asta everywhere and then transformed in its cute human form, Secret Swallow Tail. Before we found out who Nero really is, I have always thought that the annoying bird which sued Asta needed to represent something, or there was a reason why he didn't leave Asta anymore, since it's the first appearance at the Magic Knight exam. And I was right, there was a reason why Nero was always with Asta. But let's see who is Nero slash Secret in all her features. In the bird form, Nero's appearance is different from the typical anti-magic bird. The anti-birds are capable of sensing mana and peck at those with low or no mana. Anti-birds do not approach anyone with high levels of mana and get scared when they get close to those with powerful mana. This is the reason why Asta was sued by anti-magic birds, while no birds were close to Yuno. As an anti-bird, Nero is a small bird with a pair of elegant wings and two black tails, which are shaped like arrows. Nero's feathers are black at the back, white at the front and red on her face. In addition, Nero also has a pair of horns on either side of her head. Furthermore, the feathers around Nero's neck have a fuzzier texture than the rest of her feathers, which creates the sense of wearing a collar around her neck. As a human, Nero is a little skinny woman with black short hair in a bob style. She wears a black dress with thin straps and a short skirt that resembles feathers. Due to using forbidden magic, she has two black horns on the sides of her head. Her eyes are red and slanted and inexpressive, that give her a hostile aura. The design of her eyes are present in both Nero's human and anti-bird form. She's a cute girl, even Noelle admits it when her identity is revealed. And of course, Firan asks her out and gets refused. Actually, I don't really like the expression of her face. She seems to be always depressed, or indifferent, apathetic. But I think it's just her face. It's my personal opinion, though, that I don't really like her expression. But this feature is also what makes her interesting. Her face, her look in the eyes, the elegant way she moves, her calm voice, also the way she appears with her black dress. All of these elements make her an interesting character. She has a gothic style. I noticed that while uh, she remembers the old time spent with Prince Lumiere, the expression of, of her face was quite happy, while in the circumstances of fighting the devil, her face is more apathetic. When she's with Lumiere, she has the smile of love on her face. Let's say that. Besides her physical appearance, her magic and what she can do also is interesting. Despite being a noble, her sealing magic was considered unuseful as she could only open and close things 500 years before. She was sent as a servant to the Prince Lumiere, but he thought her magic was amazing and wanting to get the full potential from her. She helped the prince building magic tools with the purpose of building a more equal and happy society so that people who weren't blessed with magic could use all kinds of spells. Lumiere's dream was to build a happy society by combining the magic stones of the elves, which have the power to amplify spells, and the magic tools that he and Nero made. This work would have helped not only humans, but both races to live in peace as equals. Nero has always been loyal and have followed Prince Lumiere everywhere. I believe there's more between them besides the servant-prince relationship. Lumiere 
treats her as his equal and has not treated her as a servant and they're holding hands and Nero's words and crying when Lumiere's body crashes clearly show attachment and love. I think Lumiere and Nero were in love and behind Nero's loyalty there are deep feelings for Lumiere. She calls him my prince and she adores him for his personality, talent and good heart. Magic. Nero has always been with Asta and it's clear that they have a strong bond because as a bird she was always in his head and rounded him. Even if Nero does to talk a lot and is quite apathetic and distant, she pinches Asta's cheeks in an affectionate way and shows her affection in her own way. Their bond metaphorically appears in the final dual attack to the devil and the words Nero says to Asta encourage him to surpass his limits and trigger his final attack with their help. If their bond wasn't so strong, then why Asta was the only one to recognize her in her human form without knowing that she was Nero? He didn't know she turned into her human form and surprisingly recognized her. In my opinion, this is a clear sign of their strong bond and close relationship. Another feature that bonds Asta and Nero together is that both of them have horns that are symbol of having something to do with the devil. 500 years before, Nero had been cursed by using forbidden magic when she sealed the devil through the eternal prison spell. And because of the curse, two horns grew on her head. Forbidden magic is a classification for spells that draw power from the 